it seems like more and more companies are cutting out plus sizes. And in today's video, we are doing a try on haul from H&M. And I'm saying that with a bit of trepidation because it took me a long time to fall back in love with H&M after they took plus sizes out of the shops. Then they put them online and I discovered them. I fell in love. And now it seems like they're removing the plus sizes again. Hmm. I don't really know what's going on, but in today's video, I have, I bought a few pieces I wanted to try out here for the springtime, just to kind of update my wardrobe a little bit. And of course, they're all from H&M, and I'll link them all in the description box for you if any of these catches your fancy. But I'm a little bit worried because now that they have removed the plus size section, you literally can no longer find a plus size unless you search for it. And even when you search for it, up pops anything that goes up to a 2XL. Hmm. I was still able to find a few pieces that went up higher to the 4XL, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm simply just going to try on the pieces. We'll see how it goes. Um, and fingers crossed that H&M is still a place for us plus size girls and we can still continue shopping there. But I am a little bit worried. I would lie if I said I wasn't. Let's get stuck into it. Sadly, we're starting out with a bummer straight up and I am really, really bummed. I'm not going to lie to you. These trousers are blooming epic not only is the color divine and if you know me you know that's why i fell in love with them but the quality of them the fit of them they're oh they're just stunning and yeah they're too small i got these in a size 22 and the 22 was the highest they went up to meaning i can't even just order them up but they are so stunning 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 they are mainly polyester but the quality is superb and look at the length perfect on me i could still wear them with a small heel flats as well <laughs> i want these trousers so bad but they're just too small i am really really bummed I, I don't even know what to say i am so bummed so bummed intending to go with these trousers and more as an all year round outfit i picked up this gorgeous cardigan it is like a jogger jersey kind of stretchy soft material which i really really love but it still has that structure of a jacket i must admit i really love it it's a little bit shorter than i would have liked it to be because see if i just have the trousers on it'll still show all the belly but i think if i get my good wide leg trousers on the belly is going to be obliviated and I don't mind. There is, however, a but with this gorgeous little cardigan. And that is the fact that all the buttons are sitting on one side. Now, I took off my top so I could kind of close it and see what it would sit like fully. But having all the buttons on the one side, it kind of takes away from it if you just leave it open. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you'd have that one side, which is just no buttons. And then you have the other side. I'm not really sure I like that, but in fairness, when it is closed, it is absolutely stunning and just exactly what I was looking for. I'm really in two minds about this one. I think it's stunning. I love the color of it and the fit is great. Fit is great. I could always add a little shoulder pad. I have like little detachable shoulder pads lined in my wardrobe. I could always add a pair of those underneath, but it is just, would you then use it open? I don't know. I don't know. I really do love it. I had intended for it to work with these trousers, although it's not so much spring colors. They're my colors and I love them. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to style this one up to decide whether or not I'll keep it. Next up, I picked up a basic t-shirt. I actually have two of them because I'm really on the search for some good quality t-shirts. Normally I pick mine up in Primark and they cost me about two, three, four pounds or something like that. But I noticed that the quality of the last ones I got just didn't, they were just not up to scratch. So I thought I'd try some for H&M. And to be honest with you, for I think these this one was around a tenner. And honestly, the quality is no better than the ones I get in Primark. It's very nice. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's just a basic t-shirt. It's a little bit big on the shoulder seam for me. Can you see? I prefer a proper shoulder seam. Um, it is a nice crew neck t-shirt. But now I do know I have black undies on today but you can see how see-through it is. And I am looking for some t-shirts that that are so opaque that I don't have to worry about my undies. It is a basic t-shirt, there's not much to say, but do I think it's worth a tenner versus the three, four, five quid or whatever I pay in Primark? Honest to God, not really. 
Now I did get this one in the XXL and I did so in the green jacket as well. I do think I forgot to say that the green jacket was an XXL as well and did fit. This one is an XXL and does have a good fit. As I say, it's just a shoulder seam that doesn't work for me, but fit wise on my body, it does fit in the extra extra large. Now also these are nice soft stretchy cottons compared to the trousers that was polyester with no stretch. So maybe that has something to do with it, but I do have another t-shirt I just wanna show you. Again, just a basic t-shirt, but I got this one in an extra large. I purposely wanted to compare the sizes and personally I prefer a more of a tighter fit of a t-shirt, hence why I went for the extra large in this one. I love the fit of this one. It sits snug to my body. I love the little bit more of an open neckline and where the shoulder seam fits me better as well. However, once again, notice how see-through it is. I don't really like that. I prefer one that just has a little bit more thickness to it so the quality is a little bit better. Again, it is just a basic tee and again, I remember it was like eight to 10 euros or something like that. But knowing I can go down to Primark and get the exact same for just a few quid, I don't see the point of these ones. You may know I'm obsessed with a good suit and H&M came out with this gorgeous suit. It is, the tag was here, it is polyester viscose and elastane, meaning the quality is definitely there. But once again, sizes are letting us down. Now, the, both pieces are in a UK size 22. The jacket I could absolutely live with, but it's that kind of a jacket. I will have to make sure I only team it with a wide leg trousers because it is a little bit on the snugger side but with the trousers being as small as they are now to be fair i'm not sure i would have liked this as a suit anyway even if the trousers had fitted because the jacket is more more of a fitted jacket really um i love the idea of it and again the quality is superb it's just the sizing a size up would have been perfect in both pieces. And I'm kind of thinking, is this where we're going with H&M? Is it now that H&M only really gonna go up to a UK size 20 size wise, maybe not in the numbers, but actually in the fit. And then slowly they're gonna kind of take out all the bigger pieces. I don't know, but it makes me very, very sad to see that the plus section has been removed. And even when you search plus size, very, very few pieces comes up. And to be honest with you, it was mainly all the pieces on sale that came up when I searched for plus size. So that's very, very sad. H&M is not the only company that is doing this, sadly. Uh, many of the UK companies, um, yeah, they're just slowly disappearing for the plus size. And it won't be long before we have no other choice but the small boutiques where you can easily get charged 40, 50 quid for just a plain t-shirt. So um, yeah, it's very sad to see that the fashion world is heading that direction. We were finally getting companies that was kind of playing with plus size. And unfortunately we are once again being shoved into the corner or black sacks. We don't want to go back there. So I'm hoping this is just a transitioning period for H&M until they figure things out. And once again, we'll get plus size back in form, on form again. But so far so good. It's really, really sad. Last year on H&M, I got the most amazing linen trousers. So when I saw they had gotten some new ones in a gorgeous navy color, I thought I'm gonna have to try these. <laughs> Where are we going with this H&M? Seriously, this video is turning out to be such a bummer, that's being honest with you. Anything that is in the XXL has fitted me. Anything that goes in the number, so I've chosen a size 22 and everything, Nothing fits. I could potentially really squeeze myself into these, but I don't want to. Gorgeous linen trousers, great fit, angle length, just, just too small. Meaning if you're above a size 20, 18, 20, you can no longer shop on H&M. Is that where we're going? I'm really, really buggered by this because I got so many fantastic pieces on H&M last year. And I think this year, Anyway, if you're smaller than me and you like good quality, affordable pieces, go to H&M. But if you're more than a size 20, no, no. The last piece I have for today is another top. And this one 
actually fit. Again, it is a size extra extra large, meaning we are in the letters and not the numbers, and the fit is spot on. Now, I knew from the start that this one might not work, but at least it's not size-wise that it doesn't work, and that's great. It is this collar, the little peekaboo moment. It's just too much volume around my very short neck and my large chest. But I love the idea of this shirt. It is cotton and 30% viscose. It is gorgeous soft. Little shirt sleeves. Look at the little frill there. It's so beautiful. It does have a great length. So if you prefer not to tuck your tops, perfect. I love the idea. I like the fit. I just don't like it on my body. But at least we're finishing off this haul on a piece that fits. So at least that's a positive. It's only really the green cardigan slash jacket that I'm kind of considering keeping. I'm going to play around with it a little bit before I make up my mind. I'm going to open this. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? No, it's not for me this time. Um, anyway, I might keep that green cardigan, but the fact that it doesn't look great when it's open kind of puts me off. I'm not going to lie to you. So I think I might just send that back as well. But that is in essence the whole. And what on earth is going on with H&M? I really don't know. I'm hoping that we're going to get some answers soon. I am so bummed with this haul because, again, quality is fab. It's affordable. It's just the sizing. That's, once again, going the wrong way. So, fingers crossed, H&M are going to get their act together and give us a proper plus size section because there are people out there that's really craving to be able to play with good quality fashion. And just because we're a little bigger does not mean to say that we don't deserve better.